Hey farm hands, farm boy Reef here. How's everybody doing tonight? So I wanted to switch it up a little bit, have a little fun, learn a little bit about some coral, do a little fragging, where we're gonna place it in the tank, and maybe try to do a little bit of grafting too. So the coral I got for you guys today, um, this is the, the Monopora Capricornus. Um, this one here, it's a metallic green. I've been looking for this one for a while now. I finally ended up finding it. I got a couple frags of it, and I really wanted to get it into the Asgard tank. Um, I have some of the, the orange uh, monopora in there. So my plan today is I want to frag up two pieces. Um, I have a couple uh, monoporas uh, glued onto my overflow box and I would like to put them and place them near that as well and hopefully they'll graft. It's worth a shot to see if it'll happen. You ever see those ones where they have the nice, they swirl in between each other. You got the green and the orange, it looks really good. So that's what's going on today. Um, gonna show you how we, we're gonna glue it on the back of the overflow box. Uh, a little bit of information on this coral. I love uh, fragging corals, it's so much fun. So I got the, the Monopora Capricornus sitting right here. When you always get your new corals, you always wanna make sure you coral dip them, guys. You don't wanna get any pests in there. That's why I always end up using uh, the Polyp Lab uh, Reef Primer. This stuff works great, if you guys seen it from my other videos. So it's always good to dip, guys. If you get a pest in there, you can eradicate and take out all your coral, especially the Monopora Capricornus. Um, they get this, uh, it's almost like a worm. It's uh, called a Nubrantia, a Monopora eating Nubrantia. If you guys have ever had it, you guys know what I'm talking about. So this is the one here, this is the metallic green. So what happens is uh, Nubrantia, they lay eggs on the undersurface, and then when they end up uh, hatching out, they end up, they feed on the, the flesh of uh, the Monopora. And how you can tell, so at night, if you get out your flashlight, or even during the day, because they feed at night, you'll end up seeing all this flesh being eat. you'll have uh, eaten. It'll be all this white dead area on uh, your coral, and that means you have a pest. It's probably the Monopora eating the branchia that's eating your coral. And when you get those, it's a real pain, guys, because what's gonna happen, I find they eat a lot more of the green one. And not as much as the orange for some reason. I don't know why, but they really enjoy eating uh, the green color. Um, so what happens is they'll end up eating the flesh. And then when this is totally dead out, they're going to move on to anything else uh, they can eat, any other kind of your uh, monoporas. And what's going to happen is if you end up have to get rid of them, is either they eat all your corals, or there is some uh, wrasses out there that'll pick away and eat uh, those nebranchias off your coral. So if you're lucky, you can get one of those to take them all out. So that's why it's always uh, important to always inspect and dip your corals. Like when you're looking inside all the little grooves and stuff, you want to look for any kind of eggs. It's very clear. They're like a very clear uh, looking egg sack that's on it. So you want to make sure, I don't have it here right now, but if you had it, you could uh, take a brush and you could brush all of the edges, brush all the edges, make sure it's all clean and it's good to go and you can place it in your tank. Like an example is here, just a piece broke off, but you see how it's like white and dead here? That's a fine example, that's what it would look like of uh, if they were eating the flesh off this coral. So very important guys, always inspect your monopores. Do not get those uh, monopore eating the branches in your tank. It's a very big pain. So what we're gonna do now is, see it's a very nice piece uh, size of fray. So we're gonna end up, I'm gonna take this one here, I'm gonna break it into two pieces. So when you're fragging this one out, it's, it's easy to do guys. See, they're two, uh, two really nice sizes. So one I'm gonna break into two pieces and we're gonna glue them on the back of uh, the overflow box. And then the other one, I wanna just place on uh, the Marcos rock work. So I wanna have a nice design coming off, growing off that one as well. Um, some more information. So with these ones here, they're like a, like a top level to mid level area in your tank. Um, they like the, some they like the intense light and there's, they have little little small uh, stony polyps on here that like to feed. Um, in the wild, uh, they have a symbiotic uh, relationship of zoolithanales that grows uh, in their skin and that creates sugar and feeds the corals. But we have them in our, in our tank, so they have little polyps, so they enjoy eating as well. So you can spot feed them some reefroids and they'll take uh, that reefroid in and eat it. And how you can really tell if your coral's happy is the colorization on there. Like this one here is a metallic green, so it should be very, very bright in color. So if it's happy, you'll get those colors. It's like my orange ones here, it's very bright, vibrant. And that means it's a very happy coral. And one thing too, um, they like to have, uh, make sure that your calcium is always up there, like 450. They like to absorb that. That means they're gonna get a lot of great coral growth and give you that disc plate uh, look. 
So make sure it's up there and check your magnesium first. So if it's low, you'll get a false reading on your calcium. So bring up your magnesium, check your calcium again. And if it's low, then, then dose your calcium guys. Cause if your magnesium is very low and you keep adding that calcium, you're just wasting your money because the corals aren't gonna absorb it if your uh, magnesium isn't high enough, all right? So let's go ahead. So I'm gonna take uh, this piece of a uh, coral and it's easy. So you're just gonna snap it. See how easy that is? You just snap it into two nice pieces. And these ones here, I'm just gonna crazy glue. Put some crazy glue on the back and we're gonna glue that right to the back of the overflow box, guys. It's pretty easy. Um, and then with the other chunk of the frag, I like to use uh, the D&D Aquascape Putty. This stuff's great. Um, just comes in two, uh, two parts. Let me take these out and get them out of here. Comes in two parts, you got a green, and then you got a like a red color and when you mix those together it looks like a coralline algae and you just mold that right into the rock and then you can't even tell it's pretty uh you can't see it to the eye so it comes out really easy so we'll do that one together as well so we got our two uh frag pieces we're all good to go everything's dipped we're clean it look i checked everything before it looks like uh we're pest free and uh let's get this baby uh glued up and check it out hey guys so i got the two uh, Monopore is on the back of the overflow box, so that's all set up. Everything's glued on. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to do the, the Aquascape putty, the d and show you how to use it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take about an inch off of each piece, just like that. Take an inch. So you got the two colors. You're going to just uh, blend them all together until it's all purple. So you guys can see it's starting to turn. So you just keep doing that. And then I got a, we're going to put this one in like mid-level area mid-level high flow get that all placed up then we can come back we'll check it out and uh, you guys can see uh, how it all looks and then we can come back in a future episode to see how uh, all these corals are doing all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead let's get this one all mounted up then I'll take you guys for a tank tour and you guys can check it all out so I got the last uh, frag done I used the D&D uh, aqua putty stuff works great I'm gonna show you so I have it like mid-level it's perfect right there lots of flow lots of light can't wait for that coral to take off um, another thing with uh, having all these different mixed corals, if you think about it, a lot of these corals are not in the same uh, area in the ocean. So remember there's always that chemical warfare. Um, so these corals don't like those much of those chemicals, a lot of uh, their corals don't either. So when you're keeping them so uh, close in the proximity, they leave off different uh, chemicals to you know, try to kill out that coral and then it can thrive and take over. So mixing all these corals together, you're, you know, you gotta like look after that. And one thing we can use on there is use uh, the, the Pro Carbon, the Polyblob Pro Carbon. It keeps the water really crystal clear and it, what it does is it absorbs all those chemicals so you can keep a more successful reef tank. Put it in a media bag, throw it in your sump or in a high flow area. It'll help absorb all those uh, you know, chemicals that are floating around in your water to keep your water crystal clear and everybody happy. So let's go, let's go in here. Let's check out the, the frags on the overflow and then the nice frag piece I put in uh, mid-level and we can see how it is and you guys can check it out. And then when we do future episodes, we can see if those corals grafted together in the back you never know if it's gonna happen or it's not. Hopefully it will, and um, we'll go from there. So come on in guys, let's check it out. All right guys, so let's start off. So if you look in the back there, see that frag piece just beside uh, the orange Amanapora. So I got it all glued up, so it turned out pretty good. And then we come over to the right side. You guys can see I got another piece right there up on the right. Gluing job could have been a little better, but I'll just clean that up. And then we can move down you see that piece here? This is the piece done by D&D. &D. So you guys see like how purple it is? It gives you that coralline algae look so it blends right in. So that's what it looks like guys. And I know myself, I don't use filters on my videos or pictures or anything, but if you guys, I can use a filter for you because I know a lot of you are gonna ask, can you please show the colors of the corals? But I'm more of a natural guy, but let's we can throw a filter on it. You guys can check out the corals then. There you go, guys. So everything turned out pretty good. Hey, farm hands. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. You learned a little bit about uh, the Monopora 
coral, a little bit about the monopore eating nubrantia pests. They're a real nuisance, guys, so make sure you always coral dip so you don't get those pests in your tank and just enjoy it. So hopefully you guys had a little bit of fun, switched it up a little bit this week. If you guys have any questions or some uh, other videos you want to see coming up, just leave all your comments below and please subscribe and hit the like button. Bye.